What's up guys, my name is Joe and today I just want to react to last week's events with SpaceX, which is phenomenal. Unless you've been living under a rock, I think you've heard that SpaceX launched the Falcon Heavy, which is the largest and most badass rocket in the world, in the history of the world. It is the biggest and most powerful rocket that has ever been launched from Earth to outer space. And what happened was that it had two assisting rockets attached to it. Now, SpaceX has been testing different methods of taking these rockets and landing with them. And last year, they've managed to land one of these rockets on the ocean on a platform. So they've, they've perfected the landing for these assisting rockets. Now, it's very important for these assisting rockets to come back down to Earth because that reduces the costs of creating an efficient rocket. And now they can reuse those rockets and they don't have to pay millions and millions of dollars for more rockets. As uh, I don't know if you've heard, but when Elon Musk first started SpaceX, he went to the Russians and the Russians said that one rocket costs $8 million. And Elon said, I can build it for cheaper. And he's done it. And he's done it. And he sent the most powerful rocket to outer space with cargo. And this is the most badass, awesome thing that I've ever seen in my life or experienced in my life. Elon Musk and SpaceX and the whole team behind it sent a Tesla Roadster to outer space. It's out there. There's a driver in there. Um, it's called Starman. It's either a mannequin or a very, very badly underpaid intern. Like just go in there and what do I do? What do I do? So, uh, I mean, that car is around the world. It's just going around Earth right now. And once it catches up to speed, it'll just burst out and go towards Mars. And it won't stop there. It'll just go past Mars and it'll go into an asteroid belt and just go through there, throughout to deep space. And Elon's just, you know, he's just chilling down there, down here. And he's going to a party. He's like, you see that there? That's my car. <laughs> it's guys like Elon Musk that we need. It's guys like Elon Musk who build Tesla, who build SpaceX, who think not about the next 10 years, but they think about the next 10,000 years. Yeah, 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 it's badass. It's badass to put a car there. He could have put anything there. He could put two satellites up there, but he didn't. He put a car because, because it's a car. It's, it's awesome. It looks fantastic. It's, it's something, something, something else. But as he said before in an interview that technology isn't always good. It's the people behind the technology that make it great. It make it good for humanity. And he doesn't want to wake up to a future where there is no future. That's why he's thinking of going to Mars in the next 10 years to build a colony there and then go to the next one and the other one and the other one. He is building the, the blocks for us to build upon, for us to take humanity to new worlds and new destinations and create technology that we don't even know exists right now. That is why Elon Musk is a fantastic guy because he doesn't stop. He believes in improving and taking it to the next level, to the other level. And he does it. Hats off to you, Mr. Musk, if you're watching this video. I freaking love the Tesla in space going by Mars. Um, you know, just saying hi to the future people over there. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos kind of like this or like this, then be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram until my next video. Stay safe and hang loose.